When you think of microplastics, you probably think of those tiny bits of broken down plastics you find along the beach or floating out in the ocean. But researchers at Portland State University say there are much tinier fibers winding up in our shellfish. The researchers sampled 300 Pacific oysters and razor clams at 15 different sites up and down Oregon's coast. They found microplastics in about 99% of them. On average, 11 microplastic pieces per oyster and about 9 pieces per clam. And nearly all of those plastic pieces were actually more like plastic fibers that come from our clothes. Probably all of us are contributing to it. When we wash our synthetic yoga pants and our synthetic fleece vests, and our synthetic polypro clothes that we wear here. Every time we wash our clothes, fibers come off, ending up in the wastewater and ultimately in our ocean, where they then get consumed by animals. The study found one load of laundry can result in as many as 700,000 microfilaments going down the drain. We own a lot of, a lot of microfiber stuff because we do a lot of backcountry things, and so now I'm thinking about it all the time for washing. So far, there hasn't been any real studies on the health impacts of microplastic on humans, but research has shown that chemicals in plastics can affect clams and oysters. Some of these chemicals are endocrine disruptors um, and can, therefore we know they can have biological effects on animals. But there are ways to keep some of those fibers from getting into the wastewater. You can use special filtering washing bags like this guppy friend bag. At least somebody is doing something, right? Or you might be able to buy a special microfiber filter for your washing machine. And it's the first steps that we can take, you know, that I think are important yeah. and are positive. Because microplastics are all around us. Studies have found them in drinking water, salt, even beer and now our seafood. It tells us that microplastics are quite ubiquitous even along our coast here in Oregon, which we consider as a more pristine and less developed coast. And this is an example of one of those washing bags. This one is a guppy friend. I bought it today for about $30. I got this one at the Patagonia store in downtown Portland. I know you can also get them at REI as well as online. Dan? Yeah, Jay, I'm gonna check it out. I mean. It, but you got me interested, especially when you say 99% of the, right. the sea animals that they, they studied had this stuff in them. So yeah, That story makes me want to get one for yeah, sure. For real. Thank All you, right. Keely. Thanks, Keely.